good morning students in previous lecture we have learnt the scope of engine drawing okay there are some previous video highlights in front of you uh, in very first point we have understood the definition of the drawing and then the engineering drawing then we have learnt the scope of engine drawing that how engine drawing is helpful in all the engineering branches in electrical and computer civil architecture mechanical almost in all the engineering branches engine drawing is required okay then we have learned that how it provides the communication between the designer and the producer okay and we have also learned the difference between the producer and the designer who is the designer who is the producer in the previous lecture we have already understood in mechanical engineering it is required to design the various machines their parts in the architecture for the for designing the various buildings for the civil bridges roads construction work okay in the mechanic and uh, the next branch is computer science in the computer science we have learned that how it is required for the robot designing okay and then we come to the electrical electronics engineers there in that branch engine drawing is required to design the various circuits now today we have a topic the importance of the engine drawing it is much related with, with the scope the in the scope we have learned how it is important okay now in the importance we will learn that how it has a wide scope okay now uh, we will start with the first point where it is written that efficient communication among engineers to convey their ideas and thoughts in the previous lecture we have already discussed that how it is a universal graphic language okay and we have to learn this language we have to learn to write a language so that we may be able to read it if we know how to draw a drawing we will be able to read and explain it the knowledge of the drawing is the most important requirement of all the technical persons to work in an engineering occupation that is why we are studying this as a common subject for all the engineer branches second point now we are coming to the second point the communication we have already learned for the first point that it is a universal graphic language and in the second point now we will uh, we can see that a complete working drawing of product is prepared first of all we have to prepare a drawing of any product okay then it is then followed by the workers who give accurate shape to the raw materials according to the drawing if the engineer commits a little error in the initial drawing work it is carried over in the practical work by the workers then what is the result the resulting in loss of time money material and labor and finally the production efficiency of the factory will decrease therefore it is extremely important for the engineers designers supervisors draftsmen mechanics and other worker engaged in a production to have a thorough knowledge of engineering drawing by means of drawing the shape size finish color and construction of any object can be described accurately and clearly in the simplest and the shortest way so it is the shortest way to express your ideas to express the shape and size of any new product the fourth point a picture speaks thousand of words as message conveyed by the picture sketch sign is much more effective than a message conveyed by words uh, we can understand this point by taking the example when we travel on the road okay whenever we tra travel on the highways you can see on your left hand side or the right hand side you can see the various but there are traffic signals are there okay road signals are available on your left hand side or the right hand side just looking at the those signals we can understand that what the administrations want to tell us actually using those road signals they are communicating with the travelers okay they are telling us that there is a curve on the left hand side or there is a curve on the right hand side or there is a school ahead okay or there is a speed breaker ahead so we have to reduce the speed of our vehicle okay now instead of those road signals now assume that if some words are written there 
when you are traveling on the highway your speed of your bike is above 80 or car is uh, above 100 can you read those words if words are written instead of those signals no you cannot read those words okay you have to stop your car or vehicle and then you will read that okay what that will time consuming now in those road signals they are actually they are pictures or they are the drawings which speak the thousand of words okay now that is why it is very quick to understand and conveying the messages this is the best method now the last point engineering drawing graphics give the better understanding of what is needed and required in the project we have already discussed in the previous lecture about this that we use various symbols conventions concepts principles in the engineering drawing so okay so such type of things helps us or helps engineers to give the better understanding the best understanding for the other engineers okay it is a universal graphical language which can be understood by the only engineers now i hope you have understood the scope and the importance of the engineering drawing maybe you understand that why we are studying this subject okay if to understand the importance of engineering drawing we will watch a short clip from the three idiot movie when amir khan and his friend entered into an uninvited party and their professor caught them okay then they make excuse that they are from the science site okay because they were uh, inventing a new inverter then they were are uh, not able to explain the shape and size or the uh, or the concept of the inverter in the words then teacher asked him to give them the blueprint